Women of Reddit. What are the excuses men have used because they didn't want to wear a condom? Not me, but a co-worker. Dude has five kids with four different women, and is still looking for other women to sleep with. I asked him if he knew what condoms were, and he said that his grandma was hardcore Catholic and it would bother her that he was using a contraceptive, to which I asked him if he was religious. He vehemently denied it saying he hates religion to which I asked him again why he can't use them. Again he replies about his grandma so I'm like, bro is granny in the room with you when you do the deed? She won't know unless you're telling her. He didn't like that lol. Edit. Forgot a word. It's like taking a shower with a raincoat on. The fact you don't trust me is kind of a turn off. Okay. By hand waving. A few years ago a friend was dating a guy and his excuse was that he found out he couldn't have kids. Anyway, her kid started kindergarten a few days ago. I once had a guy insist on using one. I was like yes man. And this guy straight up pretended to put it on then try go for it like I couldn't see. I got my stuff and left. The usuals are, it suffocates me, I can't feel anything, it irritates me, I'm clean, etc. Girl, we've been married for over 10 years. Edit. Why is this my Reddit legacy? They're too tight, for one. Another time I convinced a guy to wear one but I felt him finish inside me and I was like, what the hell, and he said, I guess it fell off. It was on the other side of the room. I said, did you throw it over there? He said, no idk how it happened. In short I made him drive me to CVS at 7am and spend $50 of his money on plan B. One time. Guy put on condom like asked and all was well until the end when he pulled out and lo and behold, no condom. Swears it must have just come off. Shit happens so, try to find it to take it out. Can't find it. Begin to panic. Take a break and go get morning after pill. Make appointment for screening. Still can't find it. Talk to my doctor about coming in to find the damn thing. Super embarrassing. Go. She can't find it. Says it's definitely not in there. So okay at least there's that. Do my screen. Send the results. Come home. Damn thing is on the floor like across the room. He took it off. Lied about it getting lost and chucked it across the room. Sometimes people just suck. They don't sell XXs. Come on, baby. You know I'm allergic to when it doesn't feel good. Not a woman but I remember a co-worker saying he once told a girl that how could I fall in love with you one day if I can't truly feel who you are and feel our connection in the bedroom? It felt like the most toxic, manipulative shit ever. It's not necessary I've been tested and I'm all negative. Bro there is no way for me to verify that at 2am. Worst excuse ever. Heard a friend saying once, using a condom can never satisfy a partner. I've had a vasectomy, and, this isn't a whorehouse. Two different men. I sure knew how to pick him when I was young and dumb. Not a woman but a bottom. I heard, do you know how easy it would be for me to find someone to take it raw? Happy hunting. You don't trust me to pull out? Not a girl bit I knew a guy who refuses to use a condom because he felt embarrassed buying condoms. If you're embarrassed of buying a condom you aren't ready for sex. He told me he'd sustained nerve damage from being shot at, car bombed while working for a notorious private security company in the Middle East and that condoms took away what little sensation he had left. Shockingly untrue, he wasn't ex-military either, he claimed Afghanistan, and turns out he's known to be a massive wannabe ding-dong. He also claimed to practice, Viking religions. Edit. I should add that we did not have sex. We didn't even get past texting on Tinder for very obvious reasons. Feels better without, we are monogamous, also, honey we are trying to have a baby. It won't fit, I have many different sizes. I'm allergic to latex, great I have Durex. I wouldn't mind making a baby with you. The worst was a boyfriend I actually trusted. He said don't worry I won't come. We were fucking and it felt like he was getting close. I asked him and he said he was fine. 30 seconds later and I'm getting filled. Americans do you want universal health care? Why, why not? Americans you're already paying for health care, you're just not getting it. Your money is going elsewhere. My daughter had a fever abroad in France. We debated frantically if we should take her to the doctor because we didn't know how our insurance would cover it. We thought the worst and that it was COVID. The doctor did a full exam for 30 euros. We were expecting a huge bill after. Nothing ever came. Yeah, the healthcare system in the USA is utter corporatized filth. Burn it to the ground. I got stabbed 10 times standing up for a woman. I was charged over 10,000 for the ambulance ride, surgery, and additional medical. It was worth every penny. But I was left in debt before my adult life started. 
I don't want to change providers every time I change jobs. I also don't want to prop up an insurance industry worth billions of dollars. So, yeah. I'm sitting in my house with a torn something in my knee probably Lee still bleeding based on the spreading bruise waiting two weeks for some lackey to decide that I'm worthy of an MRI because I can't talk to an ortho without an MRI because rules. Also I can pay for the ER visit, MRI and probably most of the PT out of my own pocket, which will set me back years financially. Yay I want health insurance I can go use when I actually need and not worry about it ruining me. Give me all of that goodness. Edit. I should add that I have insurance, it I have a kid and my deductible is like $6,000. So I may as well not have insurance. Yes. I have worked in healthcare for 25 years and I can't afford to go to a doctor. They act like it's some huge favor for the insurance companies to pay for yearly preventative care. But God forbid they find anything on us. Deductibles are so high that you'll go broke trying to pay for addition testing and treatment. Absolutely. And I would happily pay more taxes to make it happen. Everyone deserves the opportunity of early diagnoses. Everyone deserves medication to heal. Everyone deserve a quality life. I didn't get glasses until I was 26 because I was afraid of the cost. I still have my wisdom teeth that flare up sometimes and cause pain. I want to contribute so people aren't financially ruined for being in an accident. Yes. Because cancer is a bitch. I had good insurance and it still fucked me over. I'll spend the rest of my life trying to pay this off and chances are, I never will. I'm not even 30 yet. Human resources rep here and I say absolutely. Every month I have to give benefits meetings and help employees coming from other companies or unemployment make decisions on insurance as well as those moving on to go somewhere else and help them all make potentially life-changing decisions on insurance which they really don't even understand the basics. PPO versus HMO. FSA versus HSA. Deductible, coinsurance, copay, out of pocket max. The glazed eyes I see. It reminds me of how my college allowed credit card companies to sign up 18 year old kids who knew nothing about finances or credit back in the 90s, early 2000s. Yes. I don't think it's fair for someone to have to decide between feeding their family or taking insulin for their diabetes, or going to the hospital because they're sick. Yes. I want my relationship with my work to just be about money. My job and health insurance should not be intertwined at all. The richest country in the world and you can't even go to a doctor. What a fucking scam mate. My current job is slowly driving me insane, but I can't leave because my health insurance is through them, and I can't take half the jobs I want because they either don't have it, or have strings attached. If we had universal health care, I could take far greater economic risks without having to worry about potentially being saddled with life-altering debt from a clumsy misstep. Dear God yes. Just let my taxes take care of it, and cut out the blood-sucking health insurance middleman. They add nothing to our society. They have allowed the American healthcare system to explode the price of services and medications, because the consumer doesn't pay the real price as long as they have insurance. In turn, insurance premiums have exploded. Everyone involved makes billions off of the sick people who need care, and prioritize any way they can avoid actually providing that care or insuring it. I'm already paying for my insurance, so just use that money. Plus, employers who cover it wouldn't need to pay those premiums, and could pay workers more. I really challenge anyone to tell me why I shouldn't want one. Reading all these comments I have concluded that. And hash x 200 b. Never be sick in America. Absolutely. I feel anyone who is opposed to universal healthcare just really hasn't taken a look at the numbers. Virtually every American, yes, you, stands to save money with a universal healthcare system. Every other developed nation is paying around one-third to one-half our healthcare costs per capita, with similar quality of care metrics. Anyone who wants to pay 2x to 3x the price for the same service is an idiot, full stop. Of course. I'm tired of paying more for less. We are already paying enough taxes to have it. Yes I want it. I don't even go to the hospital or doctor because I can't afford it. The American healthcare system. An Orwellian, dystopian disaster that makes me cringe every time I read what our American friends have to deal with and think is even normal. You always say you're, free, yet I cannot think of any other country where its people are under the yoke of such an oppressive and discrimination-based health system. You cannot make this shit up. I have not seen a doctor or dentist in years. I was about to say I could take it or leave it but now that I think about it what the fuck am I paying for then? Edit. To clarify, if I'm paying for insurance I don't use, 
What is the difference in just putting it in my taxes to pay for everyone's instead? Right now I'm just handing insurers money for free when I could be paying for someone else's healthcare who currently is getting not a damn thing.